Erica, Julius, Kaylee, all three of you, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. I'm very excited to talk about the Unique Families program that is at St. Alphonsus. So Kaylee, share with us what exactly is this program and why did St. Alphonsus decide to create it? Yeah, so St. Alphonsus recently invested in implementing the Unique Families program. And what that does is gives any families that need a little bit of extra coordination and planning, uh, before coming in to have a baby and start a family, it gives them those resources and it helps prepare our staff to give these patients the best possible experience. Um, so St. Alphonsus recently worked with our Family to Family Support Network and really implemented a ton of staff training and education and then my role to be a point person for the program. And as a point person, I, what your title I think is nurse navigator, right? So as a nurse navigator, help us understand your role a little more. I work with a lot of adoption and surrogacy agencies, attorneys, um, clinics throughout the valley, just anybody that's coming together to make this the best possible thing for these patients. So Erica and Julius, how did you guys get involved in the program and why? Our surrogacy agency that we worked with to have our daughter, Goldie, um, called Conceivabilities, connected us with a surrogate in Idaho, in Boise. And so we actually live in Texas. So having that long distance relationship with the woman who was carrying our child um, was challenging with COVID and everything, but working with St. Owls and working with their unique family program really helped us navigate this journey in a way we never thought possible. So our gestational carrier, Kiani, her practitioner, her, her OB, works with St. Owls and delivers there. And so naturally, because Kiani was carrying our child, we were connected with the hospital. Tell us a little more about that. While you weren't carrying the baby, how did the team at St. Alphonsus really help you stay involved in the pregnancy and the birth process for your little Goldie? St. Al's, mostly Kaylee, who connected with us right when we knew that we were going to deliver um, at the hospital, had introduced herself to us over email and then set us up with a virtual tour of the hospital so that even though we weren't in the state of Idaho, we could really get a feel for where we would be having our child um, be delivered. And so we had a virtual tour. We connected with a nurse who had been a practitioner for I think 20 years or so. Right when Kiani was settled and, and checked in, we all were allowed in the room together. So my husband and I, mm -hmm. and then Kiani's husband were all in the room and we were assigned one particular nurse, Christy, who made me feel like I had a special important role and I had a job and, and I said to her, whatever I could do, like, just let me know. So she had me mm -hmm. setting up the incubator and folding towels and, you know, doing all these small tasks that just really made me feel like I need to be here. Like I'm, I have a, a, part, a place in this too. And another nurse, Alexis, she had been a gestational carrier before. And so she understood the process and, and really treated me like, like I was important and, and needed and, and just truly like a patient. Um, there's a special button that you press at the hospital, this the Brahms lullaby when a baby is born. And I remember seeing it on the virtual tour and reading about it online. And so Alexa said to me, when that baby is born, we're gonna go push that button. Mm -hmm. And so we all wheeled Goldie out and like pushed the button together. And so then just the entire time that we were in the hospital, we had our own room and we were just treated like I had given birth. We, it, there was no difference in the level of care in the, the patients and the time that was spent with us. We were just taken such incredible care of. It was extraordinary. Okay, so Julius, now you have Goldie, you, Erica, Julius, you have Goldie in your life. What is that like and how is she doing? Oh, she's doing fantastically. Uh, it's, it was a long journey getting there, but it was, the bumpy road was well worth it. Uh, Goldie's the best thing that's ever happened to us. She's amazing. She, it's fun to see her like advance every day and starting to. Oh, ooh, and, uh, I am getting teared out because I mean she's my uh, baby girl, so it's it's truly amazing, really amazing, and everything Stan Alice has done is amazing. And Kaylee, um, for families watching that would benefit from this resource, from an experience like this so they can have their family become complete. What do they do? Where do they go? 
Well, I mean, it just depends on everybody's unique situation, but I am happy to field any questions and definitely reach out. I'm happy to answer questions and point you in the right direction. Wonderful. All three of you, thank you so much for taking the time to share your amazing story with us. I know you've warmed the hearts of many watching today.